Pennsylvania woman, okay, decided to go into a store and spit and cough on the products there, you know, because she wanted to. Well, she has now been sentenced to one to two years in jail, eight years of probation. Uh, this woman is from Luzerne County, Pennsylvania. She intentionally coughed and spat on food at Garrity's supermarket in Hanover Township at the start of the pandemic in 2020. Well, she has now re received her fate. The woman is Margaret Ann Cherko, 37 years of age. Let's put up a picture. She is also ordered to pay nearly $30,000 in restitution and undergo, undergo mental health and drug and alcohol evalu, evalu, uh, excuse me, evaluations. Uh, let me show the supermarket. Okay, now let me bring something to your attention. Come back to me, let me bring something to your attention. Uh, what this woman did, obviously not good, right? She went into a store, she coughed on the products. She decided to put her saliva on their products. And she has now received up to two years in prison, eight years probation, a $30,000 restitution fine, okay? And she has to go through alcohol and drug analysis. Literally, this woman, and by the way, she did not have COVID. Now, what she did was still wrong and criminal. But this woman literally has a tougher sentence than the terrorist that stormed the Capitol. They're getting fines of $500, zero jail time. She got jail time, some real jail time here, $30,000 restitution fine. And she has to undergo eight years, eight years. Of probation. Um, Joe Fasula, who's the co-owner of the supermarket, said the store was forced to throw away about thirty-five thousand dollars worth of food and merchandise. According to arrest papers, Cherko entered Garrity's on the Sands Suchi Parkway that afternoon, March twenty-fifth, twenty twenty, at a time when COVID nineteen was rapidly spreading through Pennsylvania, and uh, little was known about the virus. All right, so she went in, she scared the hell out of a whole lot of people. Um, nobody knew how the virus um, spread on surfaces conclusively at that time. Um, and, and listen, she should have been arrested. What she did, in my opinion, was criminal. But look at the comparison here. She has a harsher penalty than virtually every single terrorist that stormed the US Capitol. Dana Dahl, am I seeing this wrong here? No, and I, I kind of looked into it because I also thought the same thing. And the second degree felony charge that they charged her with was use of a weapons of mass destruction. This the biological agent, which is where did that come from, Dina? I saw that I saw that in the report, and I said, wait a minute, they got her to plead guilty to using a weapon of mass destruction, where in the narrative of the prosecution, the weapon of mass destruction was a biological agent known as her saliva. Exactly. I mean, listen, I'm not against the prosecutor being creative, but damn, why don't we have those kind of creative prosecutors prosecuting the terrorists who attacked the US Capitol? Why don't we have that for white supremacists? And you have to ask, is it political, right? Are mm -hmm. people not maybe being as creative in DC because they are worried about um, losing the case too, because maybe they've kind of done too many holes and what that's gonna mean and all that kind of stuff. But you know, it also maybe is revealing to show we need to beef up the domestic terrorist laws because we, if we're not able to fully prosecute somebody who's literally breaching our capital, that is wrong legally. And whether yeah. or not it's the prosecutor's judgment or because the laws aren't strong enough. That's right. And listen, these guys are getting such light sentences that people who were there that didn't get caught, they're telling on themselves on social media. They're bragging about it in their personal network. They're talking about it on dating apps. But I guarantee you, if they were getting the sentence like she got a sentence, they would not be talking about it so openly.